Hello everyone and welcome to MBM1 YouTube channel. In today's video, you're gonna learn how you can create your own Instagram video using Sony Vegas Pro. You're gonna learn also how you can create the video with the right resolution, the best quality, and how you can upload it to your Instagram account. So please don't forget to subscribe, click the like button if you like the video, dislike it if you dislike it, feel free to ask me any question you want and don't forget also to click the notification bell. Let's go and start our tutorial. So first of all, as you can see, this is the software we call Sony Vegas Pro. The latest version is 15. So whenever you want to start any video and you want to edit any video, you want to make sure for all your steps to be sure about the resolution you want to have it on that video. So I'll make sure about this and you will I will mention it every time I'm changing the resolution because of the Instagram. It required some uh, some uh, some resolution It will not accept any resolution whatever sometimes it will ask it, it will it will allow some resolution but the viewers or the people that they are following you in instagram they will see the video either in a bad quality or it's not in the right resolution and it will not be fit in the their devices so i will start first i will just go and click of open the folder i will go and then i will open some videos so here you can see this is the videos that i'm gonna deal with so it's a bunch of videos uh, many videos and as you know the instagram allow it only one minute and you will not be able to upload more than one minute and i mean exactly one minute not an extra of one second it will not be allowed so this is the videos i'm gonna open them all at once before what i did i just start to manage those videos the first and second and third and as you can see here all the videos are labeled from 1 to 2 14 so i'm gonna open them all at once i'm here it the sony vegas is asking you one a very important question do you want to set your project video setting to match this media i'm gonna say yes for now okay and as you can see here is the videos they are coming all into the timeline so as you can see the videos are if i click here the videos will sh will show in this way and this is not correct way so i'm gonna select them all okay then i'm gonna click right click on one of the videos and i'm gonna uh, turn them uh, uh, 90 degrees clockwise so how I get those videos like this the the girl she's using a camera called the Sony Sony and she turned it uh, 90 degrees so she will be in the frame all the time she will not be uh, going out from the frame this is a good idea for the people who's using a camera to 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 record an Instagram video so here as you can see we have the video here inside so this is the video one first thing you need to do is to have the right setting for the video preview so i'm gonna click here first thing click in here and i'm gonna give you the resolution you need from the instagram stick on this resolution is the very best resolution i tried many resolution it didn't work as this one so you will go with 1080 and 1350 you don't change anything here just keep those settings as they are by default apply then okay and as you can see all the vis videos are are now in this side i'm not gonna use the whole video i need i will focus in her face only so i'm gonna go i'm gonna after that i'm gonna go to the video one video so this step it should go one video one by one so i'm gonna go here and I'm gonna make zoom in to my timeline and I will start to click on those crop tool so this crop tool will allow me to, to choose whatever I want the the camera or the, the video showing me I want to show just the face of the artist so I will just show her face so here I have one setting which is same setting that I used on the preview uh, preview place so this is the preview place i'm gonna use the same thing so i had i have it here insta video so there is the setting 
how I get the setting just simply very simply just go to any one default for example here and add here a 1080 but by let's say here uh, 1350 then you will see it's going like this one then you can drag it up if you get in it like this you cannot you will you cannot make sure that the video is on the frame or in the frame so you just go control Z so bring it back as it is in the beginning then click this one so you will be just allowing the mouse dropping the the the, the frame just up and down whatever you take it to the left or the right it will not be moved so I want to just focus on the face of the of the girl okay so here is the setting and then you can name it you can click on it and name it whatever you want then save it here you will have that setting you can apply it for all the other videos so let's say i want to apply it. I, I finished here it's already here it's done so i'm going to move to the next video here and then i will click on crop again and i will select the same one that i used which is this one okay and then i'll put my timer here then as you can see it's perfect there then i'm gonna go to the next part click in it on it and then use the same setting and i will go so on for all the videos till i have why i'm doing doing it one by one just to make sure i'm getting the right uh, f the right uh, frame that i want so i'm just making sure about it. now we need to as you can see here the lighting it li little bit not that good so i'm gonna uh, adjust a little bit of the light so i'm gonna click on the fx on the same video that i want add the light so i'm gonna click here and see it and click also on the fx okay and then i will go to color correction or corrector then i will click ok so what what i will have i will have this this uh, this tool here this tool will allow me to adjust the light a little bit just focus in the picture here and you're gonna see the light how i'm gonna form it a little bit you can see some blue is coming here so it that's good and that's perfect so i'm gonna also add a little bit in the high here you can play around with those till you will see just keep your eyes on the video while you are moving this till you see it it's perfect okay so then i will close it same thing you can do if you want to add the same same setting to apply to all the videos you just go to default and name it then save it then go to the next video then click fx then add the same one so you go color correction corrector then okay then add the same one you 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 did here look at the video have a look to the video then you will see the video is changing also to the same thing this one we didn't add so i will move to a ready video then we're gonna move how to export the video here as you can see the tools and the steps that i showed you i applied them in all the videos part and i cut whatever i want i left left whatever i want so now i'm gonna move to to i didn't go deeply because the video would be very long just leave me a comment and i will apply uh, i will show you the way how you can cut and uh, merge the videos so those this tutorial will be just for showing you how to do the basic uh, basic thing i also added uh, text here as you can see there is a text here here is a text i added so this is the one and also i did some some uh, some effects like for example in this video sorry i didn't okay this is the one so in this video i just uh did it this way so you will see the video is going going backward already in backward it's very nice tool also i can show it to you so if you want any other uh any other explanation about how we can do all this stuff let me know in the comment so here is the video as you can see from the beginning
So now we're gonna move to uh, rendering the video. Rendering the, the third time, we need to make sure about the resolution. So I'm gonna click render as, as you can see here. Render as, clicking in it, on it. I'm sorry about my English. I'm still learning, uh, so excuse my English. So we here in the search area, we need to type internet. Internet. So we're gonna choose the first one and we'll go to the last one which is not the last one this one the uh, internet HD 720 pixel 25 frame per second so we're gonna use this but you but you need to 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 read the the template info the template info here it has this resolution that we don't need it at all so we need to change it we're gonna click and customize on customize then we're gonna look uh, click also on the on the frame size uh, custom frame size and we will write the same setting that I gave you. This is the third time we applied the those settings. So you need to make sure for all the parts that you need to put the same for the Instagram, of course, for the Instagram videos. 1080 by by 10, uh, sorry, 1350. Then you're going to click on OK. Then here you see the video has been changed. As you can see here then you're gonna name it make sure always to, to name it as the name of your your account or the 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 name of your Instagram account this will help a little bit found in your video in the network so make sure you name it same so I'm gonna type it here as two and we click render so I already rendered the video the same thing so I'm not gonna render it again so I'm gonna click cancel close no then i will show you the video this is the video as you can see here this is the video as you in if we put it inside a folder so to make sure if i put it inside a folder and i open it it should be this way so i'm gonna put it large view extra large so if you can see from the video you will see it's for it's it's made for the instagram if you want to reduce from the video from the video size let me know in the comments so i will add another video how you can reduce you can use this video you can upload it it will be a little bit depends of your the speed of your internet so make sure uh, you have a high speed internet so you can upload it directly without reducing the size of the video so till here we're done the video is ready you can upload it to your uh, instagram account please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel click the bell uh, for the notifica notification i'm sorry and uh, let me know if you need any any help i will be happy to help you thank you again for watching and don't forget i love you all bye bye